I have changed from mic for a better recording and I'm gonna pee playing a new game that has been recommended. I'm also here with a friend who's gonna be making noise of my behind me. <laughs> okay, let's see if I'll open the game. Load up the game. Is it being seen? Oh, it's not being seen. Hold on. Gotta fix that. For some reason, it is not being seen. There you go. Fix it. There it is. It's you have cold. the music on. Yeah, I have the music on. Just... <laughs> not really. I don't know. Like, uh, bot music. The lo-fi. I don't have any music other than this. Okay. What's the game called? It is called A Day in the Life of a Slice of Bread. Someone told me to play this game and the moment I heard bread I was like, I'm in. <laughs> so, this, so I don't know what this is about, but I know it's about being bread. Start, load, credits, option, quit. Okay, let's start. You feel a burning pain in your side, like someone just stabbed you with a knife. Excuse me? Why? It turns out that apparently someone did just stab you with a knife. What is happening? It seems that you're a piece of bread. I feel like I'm gonna nope. slowly have a, a, an ex existential crisis because I'm bread now. <laughs> you're quite literally a piece of bread. It's a cute art style though. You're completely fine with it. Okay, crisis over. Crisis diverted. <laughs> but just then, a thought hit you. Are we going back to having a crisis? Bread is not supposed to be aware that it's bread because it's bread. You go stupid. <laughs> this sure is a crummy situation. I co of course, there's going to be bread puns. What will you do? Hobble way to freedom. I go. Realize I was taking the way for my tip. Your family, my loaf. Accept my. Okay. Hmm. This is not I am bread. Uh... <laughs> Should I just accept my fate? <laughs> uh. You know what? Let's go have it. You go. Independence for bread must and Your purpose be is to be eaten. And it all starts I... with you. Your bread. Starting off your grand escape with a poorly executed backflip, you make it onto level ground. Okay. <laughs> oh no. I will... Well, games usually continue from the right, so let's go right. I've been caught. It appears that the odds are not in your favor, as your torturer recaptures you in their gigantic grip and sticks you back in the toaster where you belong. I will be toast. Nice job there, Texas. This is probably a reference to jump to something that I don't understand. <laughs> okay, that's the, that, that's the bad ending. <laughs> that was so short lived. Okay, let's try that again. Let's see what happens if I go left. That was that that was so short. You feel a burning. It turns out that a f it seems. You're completely fine with. What do you expect? You're a piece of bread. Bread is not supposed to be aware that it's bread. This sure is. What will you do? A two. You go. In a top left. Carefully. I mean, I didn't even know bread was alive till now. <laughs> you find yourself facing an open door. A life of a piece of bread, so. Compared to the large open. Have to be alive, right? That leads to your freedom. But at the same time, excited by all the new opportunities you now have. The opportunities for bread. With a few more hops, you make it to the outside world. It's not much. It doesn't have much opportunity in life. 
can be toast, you can be garlic bread, you can be a this cheesy is, bread. This is gonna have millions Sandwich. of endings. Hmm. I just escaped. Let's commit to the escape. You make your way to the swanky right. hot dog cart in town. Operated by a purpose, got it. swanky looking person who looks to be bent over and asleep. Their chin resting on the palm of their hand. Snoozing face inches close to falling on the scalding hot surface of the car. That's not safe. <laughs> I like how you're giving you up. I don't want this option. You know what? Sure. <laughs> They automatically stand up straight, their eyes wide, and a confused expression to match. I mean, anyone would be confused in this situation. They quickly realize the situation they were in, and that you just saved yeah. them from a hell of a medical bill. Yeah. They automatically stand up straight, their eyes wide, and a confused expression to match. They quickly realize the situation they were in, and that you just saved them from a hell of a medical bill. They pick you up and hold you up in the air. Certainly not unlike how that monkey picked up Simba in The Lion King. There, there, there are references. <laughs> they praise you endlessly for saving their face, mentioning somewhere in the word vomit that their name is Alec. So what now? Alex and I now have a wonderful relationship. I work with them at the hot dog. I leave abruptly. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. I'll... You get to know Alex better, and eventually ask them to go on a date. To which they reply, "Yes." Did this just become a dating simulator? You two hit it off famously, and you end up working with them at the hot dog cart, ending this small adventure on a good note. Give yourself a pat on the back, my friend. You've earned it. That, but, but, uh, <laughs> it's uh, so that's the dating ending. <laughs> Let's see. How how do I know how many endings are there? I don't know. Does it tell oh, you? Oh, there's a like... load menu. I forgot about that. You feel a bit. You're comp. But just then, bread is sure is the crunch. What will you do? You know what? I'm gonna accept my fate. That's depressing that you can throw your life away like that. Nonetheless, the person that has taken you away from your loving load picks you up. Oh, that's how you go to the menu. But the last, it isn't yet plugged in. You realize this diversion might just give you enough time to run away and save yourself. How do you feel about it? You're feeling a bit regretful in being the only self-aware slice of bread on the planet and just throwing it all away. Lucky for you, the person that picked you up has now set you down and is fumbling around with the toaster plug, giving you another chance. Would you like to try and make something of your life? I'm gonna save, uh, save this scene. Oh. You just can't bear it. I can change my options now. If you actually had a face, you'd be sadly whispering, Mama, to your loaf, and <laughs> <trying> yourself away. <laughs> Grow a face. What? Wow! <gasps> I'm so did it. cute. You successfully whisper a soft "mama" into your loaf soft imaginary ear mama. and begin to weep. You finish weeping soon after. I can eat myself out of existence. 
Oh. You know I wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this because I wanna see what happens if I... You were about to start bawling your eyes out when a thought occurs. You could just stop being a big baby and suck it up. Are you going to go through with this idea? Man, the game has so many options. There's gonna be millions of endings here. If that's how you feel about it. And so, you cry. You cry, and you cry, and you cry, and you cry. And then you stop crying for a few seconds to catch your breath. And then you cry some more. You cry so much that you end up flooding the house that you're currently inside of. At least, that's where it starts. Completely ignoring the fact that the house is flooded, you continue to cry until eventually all of Earth is flooded. Excuse me? I'm sorry to say, but due to you being such a pussy, you've flooded the entire planet with your tears. There are no survivors. Also, you're soggy. That was a... That was a mixed message. I'm gonna load this back. You consume your entire body, Man. a newly acquired face, all in one big chomp. Unfortunately, this entire break in physics somehow is able to create a black hole, eventually sucking up all of the universe. That includes your loaf. Are you happy with yourself? You were a piece of bread that was lucky enough to be given life by some unknown god. But instead of becoming famous or going on bread adventures, you cried about your loaf and then ate all of the universe. I just want you to know that your loaf wouldn't want this. There's so many things happening. Yeah, I'm gonna load back this save. Mm -hmm. What happens if I say now? final thought as the person takes their time plugging in the toaster is of the worst possible pun in existence. That you're toast. Life slowly fades mm. from the eyes that you don't have because you're bread. As you're burned inside this eternal pastry hell. Okay. There's a lot of options we can go here. Oh, I accidentally. Wait, 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 wait. Load. Yeah. You're that you're. Oh wait, accidentally no, 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 no. I accidentally went to Hmm. You just if you I shall grow a face. You success you finish. You're Let's about see. you could just are you going Oh the power to you. You end up becoming a respectable citizen in society, moving in with a suitable human partner, getting a rescue pit bull named Rousey, and landing a job at a plumbing company. A plumbing company for a bed? This is not like a good idea. Sure, those stupid skater kids always call you Mario, but are they eating out at fancy restaurants once every week? Possibly, but that means absolutely nothing to you as you went from a piece of bread to a wonderful spouse and a successful Man. plumber. So much and is that's happening. All that matters. Okay. How do I know the amount of ending? There's an awful lot of opportunities you have for being a piece of bread. Let's see what I can do. That you're a piece of bread. Let's save this file. Let's overwrite it. So we can have more options. You're completely f But just bread is sure. What will you do? Let's see. I guess I have the best thing I can do is really just run you away. <laughs> Starting. And I go left. To hop to the left in hopes of you feel small compared to with a few more hops, you might. Uh. 
Wait, what happens if I do go back inside? Suit yourself. Okay. I'm being picked up. The giant person grabs you from off the floor and places you back in their intended place for you. The You're completely. F but just then, bread is sure is. What will you do? Actually, this one I'll. Yeah, I'll override this save. Uh, okay. Hop you away. Go. I feel like hopping Stop away so far was our most pro like the biggest progress I even had. Careful. You feel small <laughs> with a few more You make your way to the swanky. Okay, I'm let me save this file too. I'm gonna see what happens if I allow them to run Their away. eyes open slowly, and their peaceful expression turns into one of panic. I mean, their face was just about to get burnt by a hot dog cart. They look at you accusingly for not warning them, and crush you under their shoe, throwing a hmph in there for emphasis. You can't help but realize that you sort of deserved it, though. I guess being a jerk just doesn't work out sometimes. See? Life doesn't work out that way. Okay. Let's... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Wrong saves. Wrong save. This one. What? There we go. Let's see what happens if I give she a specific. She stands up straight, her eyes wide open, and a confused expression to match. She quickly realizes the situation. She picks you up. <laughs> she praises you endlessly for seeing oh. her face, mentioning somewhere in the word vomit. But her it changes how you refer to this person. So what now? Okay, I'm gonna save this. Overwrite this. And then I'm gonna see what happens if I leave. You give a plentiful amount of your welcomes before taking your leave, making your way towards the forest. Okay, this is the most progress we've made so far. The wide range of trees intrigues you, and you conclude that you could make your home there. Fast forward a few years, and you've built a slice of bread-sized cottage beside a river, where you use your body as bait for fish, and then wrestle them so you can later cook them and eat them. This is so strange. Well, of course, you never actually do eat them because, well, you know, you're a slice of bread. But it's a <laughs> town. Man, life in the wilderness sure is intense, but you wouldn't have it any other way. Tell me your thoughts on this mm -hmm. game. Tell me your thoughts on this game. <laughs> Random and, um,. That's just unexpected times. Okay. I'm gonna load this save, and I wanna see what happens if I just become friends with this person. Unfortunately, years later, mm -hmm. one of these bowling trips ended with you messing up a throw. It's shooting up into the air and landing on you, crushing you to death instantly. I mean... I mean... <laughs> but at least you died doing something you love with one of your best friends, right? Oh my, I've got to go through like hundreds of these saves if we, if we keep going. How many endings are there? <laughs> that's a good, that's a good question. How many endings? Does it tell you anyone? No, it doesn't. It just gives me the fla- and then there's like the credits, but it doesn't say. The millions of endings that could be here. Hold on, let me search that out actually. Uh. Yeah, I'm googling it right now. Okay, yeah, can you please google it for me? Uh huh. Honestly, I am gonna end it here because. Well, 
Let's just we could be here for hours. Yeah, we could be here for hours. And there's probably multiple endings that I sadly missed out on, but there's just so many. <laughs> Yeah, this is a short okay. little game. I I don't think the the art is cute. It you could tell the bird has very existential crisis, and all of the endings are very short. So this is a very short lived game if you're bored and you just want to know what happens if you realize and have a existential crisis that you are bread. <laughs> bread, bread simulator. Bread similar. Oh no, I'm not. Now I remember I am bread and I am not playing that game. I already watch a lot of people play that and how that feels for them miserably. <laughs> I can't find any info on how many endings there actually are. With the amount of options, there's one that has two options, one that has three options. And some of those options continue the story, some of the options end the story. It's a branching storyline that we are not going to invest our time on. Yeah. It was cute. It was cute. It was, good. it was short, but it was cute. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this very weird moment of what it feels like to be bread. Alright, I'll end this here. Say bye. Bye!